My work is very colorful. It's very feminine. There's always usually at least one female character. I tend to be on my own little in fantasy land where fish and whales exist in the sky. <laughs> there is always some form of dreamy air to it. My mother was an artist all the way growing up. That's how she supported us. Maybe that set me up for a certain amount of craziness. And I don't remember ever being not entertained as a child. We'd make our own toys and she made a lot of our toys for us. So I got a lot of skills like basics of drawing. I know how to screen print, I know how to do sculpture, welding, uh, plaster cast, drawing, collage. It's not about perfecting a certain skill, it's just learning as many mediums as possible. I always say like the first collage I did is my favorite piece because it was like the first time I got to really play with art and I was in high school and it's always just been something that I kind of do, not necessarily something that I would think of as a profession. More of my collage work is very easy, easily sold, if I can produce it quickly. And like notebooks, boxes, people will buy those things. They're utilitarian objects that are just covered in art. Or artwork that you can be interactive with, you know, installation pieces like my TV fish tanks, stuff like that. Toilet outside? Well, I had the porcelain sink and now all I need is a bathtub. Just seems like it would make a good planter. Well, if you're not going to use it and just throw it away, not, why not turn it into something useful? I don't have any tattoos, but I'm pretty sure my first will be of a cicada. The sound in the summer that they make, I, I just absolutely love it. It's so wonderful. Like for me, it meant finally the winter was over where I was growing up and that noise was like heaven collect as many bugs like have a massive collection so I can get a bunch done at once. And you have to wait for the summertime to run around like a little kid and catch bugs. But aesthetically they're very interesting. I do definitely have an attachment to a certain amount of my work as all artists do. Like, I mean we're like it's my baby. As far as making money goes I intend on refurbishing antiques and such what I do with my time. I can't just sit there and drone off and drool. I'm way too up on it all the time. <laughs> Going back for a carpentry certification is my main goal right now. About six years from now, I'd, I would like to own my own antique store and be able to refurbish furniture as well as have other antique dealers. But inside that store, open an antique district, downtown Tucson. And, you know, if I want to, I can sell my work there too as well. I'm sure this is always going to be something that I'm doing constantly for the rest of my life.